students and teachers will go back to class tomorrow and despite Sandy Hook Elementary being in a different building, it will look very much the same for the children. News 8's Sally Reed live in Monroe tonight with more on the efforts to make the children feel as safe and comfortable as possible. Allie? Good evening, Keith. You're right. The goal is to make the students feel as safe and comfortable as possible. When the approximately 500 students pull up in the school buses tomorrow, they will be met with hundreds of signs that community members have made welcoming them to their new school. Now, the school has been renamed Sandy Hook Elementary. The main concern, of course, is safety. They're going to have plenty of police officers, police officers from many towns around here, including Monroe and New. Newtown. The first selectman here says the new Sandy Hook Elementary will be the safest school in the state. The focus tomorrow is getting back to a routine and making sure the students feel safe. I think right now it has to be the safest school in America. Police from Monroe and Newtown and other neighboring towns will be patrolling the area around the school. Obviously we don't want to overburden them with the police. We want this to be a normal school where they can go and enjoy themselves and learn throughout the day. Monroe and Newtown teachers have been decorating classrooms to help the students feel excited and comfortable. Decorations have arrived here from all over the world. There are snowflakes from around the world there. There are many snowflakes and they're beautiful. The students and their parents got to see them for themselves at an open house today. A good majority of the parents have come through the building and we hope the rest of them come through today uh, before the official opening in the morning. The students coming in completes a circle. That's what's missing right now is getting our students back. We just talked to the first selectman here in Monroe, and he says right now and through the night pretty much, there will be teachers, other workers working away at the school to get it ready for the students' arrival, which will be just after 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. And he says just for tomorrow, if parents feel more comfortable, they can bring their kids to school and even walk into the school building, and counselors will be there on hand. Reporting live in Monroe, Allie Reed, News 8.